Alright guys, welcome back to the quest. We've arrived in town. I want to talk to the mayor. He's, he's supposed to have some sort of condition. I guess that would have given away that this was the tavern. We pl just played a game of cards and I lost horribly. Little overlong game. A lot of streetwalkers around here. Probably, probably don't need to talk to every single one. I, 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 I would suspect repeat. Mayor of Mattress, there we go. He's right next door. Oh, did somebody die and leave you the clothes you're wearing? Okay, that's just rude. I'm trying. I'm here to help you with your sickness. A few words about the sickness, please. I have a lung sickness due to the bad air in the village. Several of the villagers have also been affected. I have a quest for you. Examine the, near the nearby cemetery. Word is, it has lethal gases emanating from it. Everyone is afraid to go there because there are stories of ghosts and ghouls roaming at night. And even sometimes in the daytime. Talk to the innkeeper. He knows more than I do, as usual. I'll reward you as well, if you help us. Alright, straightforward enough. Smuggling? What about the smuggling operation here? We have more important situation, the bad air of the village. Let's talk about this later. Alright, we're done there. Gives me something to follow up on. Uh, Lord Bogar. Greeting, stranger. Any problems? You seem so worried. Help, stranger. Some ro uh, robbers kidnapped my beautiful young wife. And only, the only real treasure in my life. Please, find her and bring her back to me. I know you can do it. Just go visit the forest southeast of the village. I'm sure they have a, a lair there. They want to ransom her. 2,000 gold coins. But if you can bring her back to me somehow, bypassing the robbers, I'll give you half the money. New quest, kidnapped wife. Make a 1,000 gold, why not? Are you still here? Go and find my kidnapped wife. I think she was somewhere... At the robbers, visit the southeastern forest. They have a lair there. Alright, I'm going. Goodbye. One more building down here. Kingdom Agent Recruiter. Okay. So he's recruiting people like me, basically. Or, to become people like me, because I'm, I'm one of the new uh, Kingdom Agents. Times must be hard for you, judging solely by the clothes you wear on your back. Everyone's judging me about my clothes. Who are you? I am a kingdom agent, kingdom agent recruiter looking for new blood. Don't ask my name. That can't be public. I'm here on a special mission to find talented children. So we have more time to groom them to be uh, great kingdom agents or night walkers of the crown. Have you seen a strange boy around here? Dressed in all brown? I want him. That's... Let's not phrase it that way. Uh, no, nothing special. That boy is special. I must have him, but I can't track him down. You look like an adventurer, so maybe you can look around for the surrounding forests and fields. Am I right about you? I can't tell you why I'm here. Good. Good. I think I know who you are. Let's not talk about it. It'll be better for both of us. But you're my hero for today. So, the boy named Onan was last seen at the small abandoned swamp area south from here. All I ask is that you keep your eyes open when you walk around getting to know the island of Framemore. You will know him by the brown clothes he wears. As far as I know, none of the children wear brown clothes here. That's a very weird distinction to make, considering that coloring your clothes would probably be more expensive than wearing brown clothes, but... I, uh, or gray clothes, I guess. I hope we have a deal. If you can track the boy down for me, I'll help you get further in on your mission, alright? Agent Recruiter's boy. So this is a way of progressing, potentially. I'll see what I can do. Alright, we're picking up all sorts of things to do around here. I should probably rest, because my mana is all the way down. Let's find out how much that costs. Sleep? 49! Versus how much does it cost? I guess you don't really sell mana potions, do you? See, I have... Ah, I have... It's a relatively smart, small amount of money, I suppose. Might be a quick way of getting my mana back. Resting. I wonder if this game has a nighttime cycle. As you wake up... Jose, uh, Jose the innkeeper serves delicious food and water. You feel re fully refreshed. Your health and mana are increased for a while. Oh, they're increased for a while. What are they now? Oh, yeah. That's a... <laughs> that's a 25% increase of health and something else of mana. Eh, roughly the same percentage-ish. That's a... that is not an insignificant bonus. So... <clears throat> sorry. So we're back in the land of, uh, bad air. Well, I might as well just pop a save. It's nice having no screens that ever are progress bars ever, because the game is just not asset-heavy. So... 
The cemetery nearby is where they want me to investigate. Curious about this other stuff here, too. What's this? You touch the sphere and feel mentally refreshed. Your full mana has been restored. Ah, oh, that's here all the time? Can I just do that whenever I want? Oh, nothing happens. Okay, um... Just gonna go ahead and load real quick. If that's- if that- I don't know if that's single use or if it comes back periodically, but I don't- I did not need mana refreshed. So that's good to know about if I want to get a free refresh. Can't click on you, shepherd man. You found a book. The Bunyip. Alright. What's the Bunyip? I'll bite. Do 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 Bunyip book. You haven't read this book yet. Long ago and far away, some young men left their village to get some food for their wives and children. The sun was hot, but they liked the heat. And as they went, they r ran races and tried to... and tried who could curl his spear the farthest. Before long, they reached a series of pools, each fringed with plants. They decided to pick some of the tender plants and carry them home, but soon they tired of this, and one of them said, let us quit this woman's work and fish for eels and anything else we can get. This delighted the rest, as they all began to arrange their fishing lines and to search for bait for their hooks. Most of them used worms, but one, who had a piece of raw meat from his dinner, cut off a little bit and baited his line with it. For a long time they fished patiently without receiving a single bite. Then something very heavy pulled so hard on the line that one of the men of one of the men that he could hardly keep his footing. And for a few minutes, it seemed either as if he must let go or be dragged into the pool. He cried to his friends to help him. And at last, trembling with fright at what they were going to see, they managed between them to land on the bank a creature that was neither a calf nor a seal, but something of both, with a long broad tail. They looked at each other with horror, cold shivers running down their spines. There was not a man among them who did not who did not know what this was. The cub of the awful Bunyip. All of a sudden they heard the cry of the mother from the, uh, the other side of the pool. She rose up and came towards them, rage flashing from her horrible yellow eyes. Let it go, let it go, whispered the young men to each other. But the captor declared that he had caught it and was going to keep it. So flinging his spear at the mother to keep her back, he threw the little bunyip on his shoulders and set out for home, paying no attention to her pitiful cries. Suddenly, the men heard a swishing sound behind them and saw the pools had joined and were rising towards them. For an instant, they stood, watching as if they were frozen, and they turned and ran with all their might. The man with the bunyip running faster than all. He had to run fast indeed if they were going to escape the rising water. Finally, they reached home. The water! The water! gasped one of the young men, and there it was, slowly but steadily coming towards them. Then the man who had caught the bunyip's cub shuddered, as he looked at his hands and feet and saw that they were bird's claws. He looked at his friends and neighbors. They had all turned into a flock of great, awkward, flapping creatures. When he tried to speak, he made a noise he had never heard before. Already, the water had risen to his waist, and its surface reflected back at him the image of a black swan, one of many. He and all the villagers had been turned into swans by the enchantment of the angry mother. Never again did they become men, yet they are still different from other swans, for in the night time those who listen can- oh, for in the night time those who listen can hear them talk in a language that is certainly not like any swans, and there are even sounds of laughing and talking unlike any noise made by the swans whom we know. The little bunyip was carried home by its mother, and after the waters sank back to their own channels, the side of the pool where she lives is always shunned by everyone, as nobody knows when she may suddenly put her, uh, out her head and draw him into her mighty jaws. I'm surprised the story even had to end with the bunyip being some kind of dangerous monster physically. Because it has, apparently has the ability to curse everybody into being animals forever. But they just felt like adding that part in too. Alright. Let's check out the cemetery. There must be an entrance around here. Hello. How dangerous is you guys? Oh. Music change. 
Oh yeah, that's the sound. All right, where are you at? Nope. Oh, where is he? There, diagonally. Stop avoiding my line of sight. You're annoying me now. There. Ah. <laughs> Good thing for the map, because I cannot tell. I cannot look at this guy. Hello, friend. Ow. Rude. No, not not cure. Burning hands. Battle mage, go. There we go. That's one skeleton down. Any more? Can't look at that. I, I assume the ones with text I can read. Here lies Overgar, son of uh, Avangar. Hardest of all, strongest of all. Got all that he needed. We lost all that we needed. Draymore, our hero. There's mushrooms. Blighted fungus mushroom. A lot of those. Is that where the problem comes from? Red... It's a hole. You can't go down. There's no ladder in the hole. Okay. Interesting. So if I get a ladder, I can go down there? And I probably have to. That hole seems rather noteworthy, considering there's lack of actual... Enemies to worry about around here. Blighted fungus just everywhere. How do you feel about having too much of that plant? Sounds exciting, right? And red red rum rooms. Why not just grab it all, right? I mean, I guess I can get over encumbered. What is that stat at? Damage armor, mana crime. Crime is a stat. Interesting. Personality, a bunch of other things. Active effects. Abilities, skills, main. Don't see encumbrance listed here. Oh, permanent. Fortify skill. Oh yeah, that's just all the parts of our character. Just in general. Here's where it would be. Okay, 33.3 out of 110. We have six of these, a weight of 0.1 each. Good to know. Matras infection. Talk with the innkeeper and the alchemist of the and with the alchemist of the village to find out more. There we go. So we've cleared out the cemetery, but I should talk to those two in town to find out where I want to go from here. That was my mistake. I. It's good to see an honest citizen like you. You may move freely here. All right. They check with you whenever you come in, apparently. That, that was my mistake when I, uh, I only rested but didn't talk to this guy. About the sickness. So the mayor offered you a reward. Here's what I know, dar daring adventure. Uh, last week, my auntie died, and we took her corpse to the cemetery. But when we tried to open the old family plot to lay her to rest next to her husband, we accidentally struck on the entrance of an old cave. Phew, the stench. The grave diggers nearly fainted from it, and since then, our air smells like rotten eggs or worse. That spot may be an old sacred burial ground of the ancients. Who knows? But it's a foul spot and must be cleansed. Yet nobody dares to enter the hole. It gets worse. Now evil creatures are reporting roaming from the gra reported roaming from the graveyard, even in the daytime. The mayor thinks the sick villagers are just imagining things, but I don't trust his words. He can't even step out of his own house, so his words are empty. And where's that hole exactly? It's in the cemetery. What a surprise. Please find the source of the gas and close up that place so I can bury my aunt. Soon the smell of her corpse will be as bad as the air we breathe. I have I have just put a ladder there so that you, Daring Adventurer, may climb down. That is, if you're brave, brave enough. You just put it right now? How'd you, how'd you do that? Are you magic? Uh, also, you should speak with our alchemist too. I'm sure he knows something about the gas because he examined the infected ones a few days ago, and then retired to his shop to work out a cure. Alright. Time to go visit the alchemist, then. That'll be you, I believe? Drin the alchemist. Alright, what can I buy from you? Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. That is a whole lot of menu right there. Oh, it's just two pages, actually. Mostly one page, but still. Let's see, small healing potion heals 30 points. Oh! Cost 25. How much does a mana potion cost? Poison paralysis. Strong healing potion. There we go. St small mana potion. 25 also. Alright, they're not too expensive. Probably hurt, wouldn't hurt to buy a couple of each. 
Obviously, they're useful to keep my character going, especially since I rely on mana to survive. Let's talk. Everyone's just insulting my clothes nonstop, huh? Alright. Uh, about the sickness. What do you know about the sickness? It's my belief that the gas that poisons our air comes from the cemetery. Maybe an old crypt that is haunted by demons. I've examined some of the villagers and can say, through my experience, that the source of the gas may be highly sensitive to magical fire attack. If you're skilled in such things, perhaps you, perhaps you can help us. Alright, well I do have magical fire attack. So I could try to blow up the entire place, potentially. About the shop. My potions are one of the most deli- uh, are of the most delicate chemistry. Use them to fortify your brain, resist plague or wart diseases, ease your stomach, brighten your glance, and lift your spirits. What do you need? Look around, and if you can't find what you like, come back tomorrow. Alright. I should probably go visit the, uh... I'm sorry, what does this character do, the barber? The tailor. There we go. Never mind. That's my mistake. <laughs> So they, they apparently will affect your, uh... Must be how you change your clothing to get people to respect you a little more. He trains light armor, which is a skill that I have, so it's not a terrible idea. Uh, let's see. You got questions, Oris? Just ask them and I will do my best answer. What about the shop? Our goods are sturdy, practical, and affordable. Please look around. You can find items to clothe you from head to toe. And if you can't find what you like, please come back later. So this must be the light armor character, and the next door one's the, the heavy armor one? Yep, looks like it. Unenchantable. But yeah, armor 4, for example. Uh, doesn't seem to have a lot of comparison to be had here. So let's take a look at my character. Yep, that, that is the chest- so it, that was the chest piece I was looking at then, it was the one that I have access to. I have a two armor chest piece. One armor boots. Necklace that doesn't do anything. Round shield and a cheap short sword, 48 damage. And this cost me all, all of my money, but it's four armor. Three armor would also cost most of my money, and yeah, the, the one, pretty much everything's really expensive here. I don't have a cloak yet, though. Slightly and moderately enchantable are how they measure these things. I might have to go make some money, I think, before I go too far into some of this stuff. Let's go visit next door. There we go, blacksmith. Butterfly short sword. Already better. Very expensive. Immediately the- oh. Cheap short sword. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now. So that's the only reasonably cheap thing here, basically. Everything else gets really expensive really quickly. You can buy a crown. Interesting. Anyway. Let's go try to finish some actual uh, some actual missions so I can afford any of these things. All right, so now we have the proper quest for involving this place. Pass on friend, it's a fine day. Let's go. As you walk across the bridge, suddenly you hear a strange female voice in the wind rustle softly in your ear, saying, "Be careful, my dear. Fortify yourself." I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Oops. Oh, map notes. That's cool. That's good to have access to. I got- I went the wrong way, though. I need to go to the cemetery. I think the game was even warning me, like, Hey, stuff's gonna be dangerous in that direction. Watch out. Let's go focus on the... The- the de the undead hole. So there's the ladder. What if I just cast a fire spell right here, though? Climb down. I thought maybe I could just blow the whole place up because it has gas susceptible to fire damage. Apparently not quite, though. Hello, fire pool. Oh, hey, guys. Those pesky webs being a problem for you guys? Now you guys come over. There you go. Nice to meet you guys. Stab that bat. Y'all just being rude now. There we go. Yeah, the bats just make the worst sound, don't they? It's a good thing they're dead forever. Figured I'd save a little mana. This is a spacious cave. Hello? Ghost shiitake. I'm gonna ghost that shiitake. What's this thing? Just a freaky face? Ooh. Ah. Cure po uh, poison. Just all around. We're just collecting potions. I'm cool with that. That's the music change that probably indicates combat's coming. Hello. 
Venom bat. That sounds like bad news to me. Let's blow it away. Out of here. Oh no, it survived. Kind of. Oh, here it comes. He came back. You've reached level two. Your light weapon and attack magic skills have been increased. You can spend available points on your attributes and skills. Check your status screen. We have five points to spend. Strength, dexterity, endurance, intelligence. All right, pretty staggered across there. I think I'm gonna say three points into intel. Oh, that was more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. Oh no, I'm just that's just the cap apparently. All right, so that's the cap right now for intelligence, and I'll put someone to endurance, and then a little into de let's see, dexterity affects your armor and your melee and, and range of damage. Let's go dexterity out of those options. Personality cannot be affected by stat points, right? Oh, it can be. You can, you can level up your personality. Item prices, paralysis resistance, and how much your character is liked by others. Uh, maybe a little bit of that. There we go. That should be reasonable. Oh, we can we should get points all over the place, don't we? Alright. Let's pump a few points into attack magic, which apparently caps out there. Mind magic. I haven't been using those so much. Healing should be a good option. I have to be self-sufficient so, uh, self sufficient here. Uh, armor is good. Persuasion could be good to make people like me. That's not a terrible idea. Put some points into persuasion real quick. Alright. Abilities. De dearth race. Right, that's just my character. Alright. We've gone and had our first level up experience. Don't know how much I can expect to level up in this game. Ah, I, was, I was hearing dramatic sounding music, but I'm not really seeing anything dramatic attacking me so far. Hello, weird pool of water. That's a strange sight. We, w we must be in combat right now by the game's standards because I'm moving really slowly. I think it's calculating turns. Go ahead and grab that shiitake. There we go. It's ghost shiitake for ghosts! So many piles of skulls. Hey guys! I found the bad guys. Hi friends! I'm going to blow you up now. Boom. Oh my god, there's more of them. And I'm cursed, apparently. Your attack power's been reduced for two turns. That's not good. Let's see. I could do that back to them if I want to, or stone skin would help me out. Let's cast Stone Skin. I'm about to get attacked a lot. Ow. Rude. Uh, I can probably make go with one attack first. Stone Skeleton. Ow. Alright, now I'm taking damage, so now I'll... After letting my health go down a little lower, I'll go ahead and try to heal. Cure Light Wounds. Boom! Now what, sucker? Alright, not getting along with you guys very well right now. Do I have the mana for Burning Hand? I totally do. That'll get rid of one of them at least. Alright, stone skeletons are durable if nothing else. Can I attack the, skele the skeleton specifically? Nope. They seem to be able to control which person get gets hit each time. But now what are you gonna do? You're gonna die is what you're gonna do. Alright. I should probably use a, a mana potion. That'll allow me to heal. By quite a bit. There we go. Up front we have... A dagger. 1 to 10 damage. And a fortify mana potion. Fortifies by 30 for 10 turns. Alright. Let's compare weapons right now. Um... Leave this menu, go to my normal inventory screen. That was probably the same thing anyway. So my sword... Ooh, it brings up a separate menu just for your options here. That's kind of cool. So 4 to 8 versus 1 to 10. I'm going to say 4 to 8 is going to be better compared to these things. Contains 12 units. What? I'm not really sure what that means, to be honest. Huh. Anyway, I think I'd go with the, sh the sword over the dagger. Because the uh, 1 to 10 is just 
It has a higher peak, but it's so broad overall that's probably going to be a downgrade. Let's see, anything, any equipment in my inventory? I have my wand if I want to be able to cast something dangerous. Alright, let's go ahead and pop a save. We've been going for a little while. Enemies around here can clearly deal damage. Hello, altar thing. Bones of Saint Senya. Sena, the power preserved for eternity in this concentra uh, consecrated niche. That is a skull. Hello, book. You found the book Primary Contagion. That could probably teach me something. Here we go. Teaches undead magic plus five. You can't learn from this book. Can I read it anyway? You can't learn undead magic because you are not undead. That's fine. The power contained within this tome was brought from an evil spirit by the sacrifice of a hundred souls. You will learn how to boost the forces which kill, decay, and cause infection. It improves the casting of spells such as Drain Health, Unholy Word, and Infestation. Only undeads can use this ability. So that's not going to come up for me. Maybe I can sell it or something. And other things I've found. Hello? Skull of Saint Senya. I feel like I should not be grabbing that. For a number of reasons, really. Hello? Yeah, let's just desecrate the remains around here. Unless I'm supposed to put it in this coffin. As you touch the old coffin, you feel the cold breeze in the back of your neck. Oh, no. Hi. Friend. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna try to burn you real quick. And hopefully that'll, you know, you know the, you know the, old, ad, the old adage, uh, kill it with fire. It was less, <laughs> it wasn't very effective as it turns out. Oh geez, you're a strong one, aren't you? All right, I'm in trouble here. All right, healing. Ow, mana. I'm gonna have to spam fire spells because my melee is not gonna cut it. Wow, you were dealing damage to me, huh? Let's heal up a little bit. This guy's dangerous. Dear lord, burning hand. There we go, that's the way to go. I'll just have to make up for this by getting more money afterwards to buy more potions. Ow, jeez. I might die right now. Oh, he's running away. Okay. I don't want to run towards you, really. Haha, I'm gonna attack the air in front of me. Oh shit, it cast a spell. <laughs> you have died young. Your king, your country, and your gods mourn you. Alright, I was not expecting that to happen. And that is not the save I wanted to use. Silly game. Alright, well I didn't lose any progress, thankfully. So yeah, don't play with the corpses, huh? You feel the cold draft coming from the south wall, but you don't see any opening. Maybe you looked around carefully. Do the cursed. Do I, am I supposed to click this corner here? No? Not that little corner there? Hello. Button. Alright, so this was probably the warning not to not to mess with that person. I wonder if I could use the saint to fight the cursed one or something. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be messing with the remains of, of uh, saints. That was a timely save based on pure coincidence. So they did just introduce the, the hidden button concept. Let's review what that looked like really quick there. That was, uh, it stood out, right? Yeah. Yeah, by the standards of other games I've played in this genre, that's a pretty easy one to find. By the way, there's your mossy brick texture that seems to be required for this, uh, subgenre. Anyone else around here? This tunnel must go somewhere. As you look around, you realize the storehouse is full of illegal stuff. Oh, this is the uh, smuggler's den. Hello, freaky exit. That is a, definitely a 2D image, so let's not be too distracted by that. It has a weird warping to it. Up to the port. Oh, there's another way to the port. Hello. Bronze gauntlets, small wooden shield, moonshine mushies. Boom, boom, boom. This is how you get rich. By stealing. I'm a good guy. Cure poison. Scroll of the burning hand. Scroll of cure wart. And magic missile. I want to learn magic missile. And spell book of mark. Oh right, scrolls just cast books, actually. Books are how you learn spells. Alright, what, what are you guys going to do? This is all illegal anyway. Are you going to report me for stealing from the th thieves? Heals two points. 5% alcoholic. Interesting. Black beer. Uh, alky berries. 
And... Wand of Weak Feather. Cast Feather at level 30. Alright. Let's see what I can get out of this equipment then. Small wooden shield. Wooden round shield. So that's, that's not good. Bronze gauntlets. I'm not wearing gauntlets right now, am I? So that, yeah, it'll be it's perfect condition. It'll give me one armor. There we go. Um, I should learn that book. So we already know this one. Uh, Spellbook of Mark. You learned the Mark spell. It was a thief who first used the spell so that he could mark the position where he had hidden gold so he could go back and retrieve his treasure for at his, at his leisure. He'd made it freely available for everyone to use, but it's very expensive, of course. The number of positions you can mark depends on your skill level. The, this incantation should be used in conjunction with the spell Recall. Recall? Does Recall mean you can teleport to your mark, for example? That'd be cool. Maybe. Then we have some scrolls I can use to cast spells situationally. Let's see, I should go back to the ma- Oh yeah, I haven't really- f I haven't really fixed the infection, have I? I mean, I've gone through and attacked everything. I wonder if I should go back and talk to them about stuff? What's the deal with this stuff? Just gonna go and pop a save before I start messing with these things. Hello, you barrel thing. Oh, there's stuff inside of it. Small fortify mana potion and s scroll of weak feather. I will steal the crap out of these smugglers. And then they're going to attack me, and I'm going to kill them when they attack me. If that, if it comes to that. Lady Slipper Flower. Alchemy Ingredient. It's just the name of the plant. Wand of Detect Mind. Stick. Exciting. 1 to 6 damage. And Wand of Weak Unlock. We're unlocking... Unlocking locks. Alright. Found the Smuggler's Den. That's all they got? Come on, you guys are terrible at smuggling. Not even one, like, I don't know, house elf. Golden amulet, plus five health, ooh. Beginner's lockpick. These are both good things to find. I'll absolutely put that, that uh, locket on for plus five health. Takes me up to, f yeah. It's, an, it's, a, it's a permanent increase to my ca- Oh, well, not permanent, but it's an increase to my cap that's pretty significant compared to how many we even have to begin with right now. Upstairs. Hi, everyone. Are the guards going to attack me when I walk up to them? Where are we right now? Oh, we're just right over here. Slightly out of range of where I've been before. The guard didn't seem to react to me so far. Let's see, does the alchemist know anything? Let's see if there's any updated uh, uh, dialogue. About the sickness. It's my belief that the gas that poisons our air comes from the cemetery. Maybe an old crypt that is haunt haunted by demons. I have examined some of the villagers and they and can say, through my experience, the source of the, of the gas may be highly sensitive to fire attack. So we do need to still follow up on this. Let's go find something to hit with fire. That's the thing I still need to do. So we're just gonna go right back in there. Was it here? Nope. Right over here? Nope. What's it say? Storehouse. Oh, you just can't go back that way. Fine. I'll go back the long way. Oops. Yes, this way. So it's a one-way it's a one-way passage when you go up to that lock. So we just need to go back in there and find something to explode basically with my fire magic. The dangerous things are gone at least. So what is the source of the gas? There's that weird thing over there. Oopsie. We can find out what that is. Let's see, that's something right here is a plant. Oh, that's just the book podium. Should I try to burn the bodies or something? Or is that thing over there what's susceptible to fire? The weird pool. I have reason to be worried about the boss fight. Maybe they're just saying the boss is susceptible to fire. I'll try a few things. Uh, update my save while we're here. Just so I don't have to come back all the way around again if I feel some need to. Let's try... Let's try casting fire on this pool. I'm standing in the middle of it, which is probably a bad idea. Let's see what happens. The tunnel has collapsed. Did I do good? I think I may have just done it. 
All right, I'll head back upstairs and see if that was exactly what we needed to do. Oh, the sky's not orange right now. Either I'm standing in the wrong part of town, or I fixed everything. That could be good. Oops, sign, why are you getting in my way? All right, so we probably need to go with the mayor. Because I don't think the, uh... I don't, think, I don't think the quest is really triggered by that character. Mayor, about the sickness. We still have the bad air. Are you going to investigate the crypt? I hope so. So you may have discovered and removed the source of the noxious air? Maybe. I don't believe words when I can't even step outside of my own house. Come back tomorrow. I'll reward you when I can really f fully breathe again. Okay, so it seems like we did it. We may have done it correctly, but we have to wait for the air to clear. Oh, the sky's already clearing up. It was all gross a second ago, and now it's kind of already better. I wonder if, I wonder if the dialogue's already different. I don't normally give fashion advice, but please, get some decent clothes. No one will take you seriously if you walk around like that. Come back in a few hours. Okay. So, so he's continually updating his dialogue. So I guess I'll just rest in town, right? That's reasonable. Maybe sell some things. He's only interested in, in buying uh, food items from me, though. Never mind. Uh, let's have a nap. Once we wake up, the mayor should be all better. And we get delicious food and water. I love you, delicious water. Now it's nighttime. Time seems to be hard for you, judging solely by the clothes. Shut up. Uh, come back in a few hours. Damn it! I can feel a slight change in my air, but my lungs still pain me. Alright, well I think once I wait long enough, we'll be better. Maybe that's something we'll do next episode. I think we've done a little bit of exploring here. I don't think I'm ready to fight that ghoul yet, but I could go back there and antagonize it when I feel a little safer, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break, guys. Thanks for watching like always, and I'll see you next time on the quest.